Dear Future Survivor, My name is Jackie Hegarty, and I'm a survivor of the Sandy Hook school shooting from 2012. I was only seven years old at the time, and it felt like I was forced to grow up that day. And now, I write to future gun violence survivors as a 17-year-old. Over the past 10 years, I've struggled with PTSD, anxiety, and depression. I'm afraid of loud noises, and I startle when I hear a door slam. The reason I'm writing this is because I believe the aftermath of the tragedy is not just the few days that gain the public's attention. It's the years of mourning, grieving, and processing. Dearest survivor. Dear future survivor. Dear future survivor. Dear future survivor. Dear future survivor of a school shooting. I'm writing this for you, a survivor of the next mass shooting. Because I understand what you're going through and how you're feeling. I hope that this letter offers insight and comfort in this time of unknown turmoil and hardship. My little sister, Jacqueline Jackie Gossetis, was nine years old when she was killed in a shooting at Rob Elementary in Uvalde, Texas. I still remember sitting on the floor in the choir room closet, still in lockdown at my school. I remember being told that Jackie had passed, and everything was a blur after that. My name is Heather Martin, and I'm a survivor of the shooting at Columbine High School in 1999. I escaped physically uninjured, but that only increased my feelings of guilt. I went off to college, and I didn't want to tell people about my story because I was scared of their judgment. I ended up dropping out developed an eating disorder, and dabbled in recreational drugs to help me cope and escape. My name is Missy Jenkins Smith, and I was shot and paralyzed in the Heath High School shooting in 1997. My twin sister and I were forced to watch one of our classmates that died get shot in the head. Three of our classmates were killed, and five, including me, were injured. I know you don't know me yet, but my name is Zoe Ture. I'm 18 years old and a survivor of the Oxford High School shooting in Michigan. At my school, I had to jump out of a window and run for my life. I sat with friends as we wondered what would happen to us and if we would make it out alive. I was you and I'm here for you. My name is Dan Williams and I am a survivor of the Chardon High School shooting that occurred in 2012. The shooting happened my sophomore year of high school and changed who I am forever. It has been over 10 years since the shooting happened and I'm continuing to work through my healing journey. I still struggle as a teenager to understand why I survived. Nobody expects something this tragic to happen to them and when it does, it makes you feel guilty. The guilt will eat you up sometimes, but that's when you need to rely on your support system. This day would continue to affect me throughout my life. I not only would have to struggle to live my life in a wheelchair, but I would continue to struggle as I got older. After experiencing this traumatic and life-altering event, going back to a normal life was impossible. I wish someone would have told me that even after a year, I still wouldn't feel like my old self and that she may never come back. But that's okay, because although the pain is still there, the new person I have become has learned and grown so much. I will never be the same person I was before April 20th, 1999. And that's okay. You'll never be the same, but you'll learn to live with this. Quite honestly, I'm not there yet. But with the support from the people that you know and love, you'll get there eventually. I hope you know that you are loved and that you are part of a family of survivors that no one wanted to be in but that we are fortunate to have. It helps to connect with other survivors though. Being able to connect with other people that didn't look at me with sympathy or judgment. People who were me months ago or years ago. People like us. One of the hardest things you need to know about losing someone to a mass shooting is that you might not get to say goodbye. You need to remember that they loved you no matter what. No matter how many fights you have, or if you didn't say I love you enough, they know you did.
We overcame a traumatic event. We survived and we are here to carry on the legacy of those who aren't here with us today. Although it's a club that no one joins voluntarily, it is an honor to be a member. I want others to know that it does get better. I promise. I was a senior when the shootings took place at Columbine High School in 1999, and now I'm a high school teacher and I teach seniors. I am a Sandy Hook survivor, but that is not my sole identity. I am a daughter, a sister, a friend, and so many more roles. Reach out whenever you need me. I'm just a call away. I want you to know that my sister was a fighter. She fought for her life for 77 minutes surrounded by her friends. When she was pulled out of the classroom, she was alive. But her little heart couldn't take it anymore. Now we're going to fight as hard as she did for the rest of our lives. Love, Jasmine Costas. Sincerely, Dan Williams. Love, Zoe. Sending so much love, Heather. Love, Jackie Haggerty.